In Havana, you will find two Cubas, the country that it could be, and the place it still is. Ande tu casa. That's where we met teacher Mariana Sanchez and her daughter Erica. No te gusta esa cámara. Who led us down a street where neighbors still report foreigners to police, where a trip home uh. means climbing six flights of stairs. The elevator get break. Where this single mom <gasps> trades one job pasa, pasa, no for another. Esta. Inside a tiny apartment she shares with her mother, the two split a routine perfected by a lifetime of practice. I am waiting for the water to uh, come here to bring to the tank because the water run only over one hour, two hours. A day? A day. Wow. Which is why Mariana saves every drop from a source she doesn't even trust. You have to boil your own drinking water yeah. every day? Of course, because uh, I can't afford to go in the store to get the uh, mineral water. And I have to remove this. On her state salary, she can barely afford rent at about $4 a month. Anything left goes to keeping Erica happy and a crumbling home intact. When I get this apartment, nothing was working. This no working. That no work. The toilet seat doesn't have tank. It's very hard, but this is the really life I, I have. And you can still smile. Sure, what can I do? Erica. She'd like to be a tour guide, but says her English isn't good enough. She'd like to move, but for her apartment, no one's buying. She'd like to see Cuba as it could be, but knows better. We live in ourselves mm. without men. <laughs> what can we do? We have to take what we got over the table. Which is why this mother takes comfort in what she does have. Otro besito. Otro besito. Otro besito.